How's it going everybody? Rag Roth here. So today apparently I think we got uh, two more Persona 5 Royal trailers. One is like a character introduction trailer for Joker himself. I'm kind of surprised they're doing one for him, but since it's so late in the game, maybe it'll be a pretty interesting trailer. And we also got, like, I guess, like a brand new, I think they're usually called PVs, like, I guess, like, overall kind of trailer for the game. Uh, it seems like we usually get, like, these trailers on Friday, I've noticed. So I was going to do a reaction video to both of them. Uh, first, I'm going to start with the Joker trailer, and then I'm going to start with the, I guess, overall third trailer. So let's check them out. All right. I should lower this a little bit. Oh, I can lower this. All right. By the way, these aren't subbed unlike the other ones, so <laughs> I'm not going to know much what's going on. I can't tell if that pose is a JoJo pose or he's like blinded by something. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the social link with Carolyn and Justine. I actually never did that one that much. Oh yeah, pump that iron. Cool, that was actually a minigame like in No More Heroes where you can like pump the iron and build the strength up and stuff. Oh, it does make sense because they're the strength Mama. arcana. <laughs> this is definitely a little more going on though, I'll say, than like some of the other ones. <laughs> Ow. Ow. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, whole crew's there, you're gonna catch you. Oh, okay. So you can do, um, tag ends with dark, uh, dark catchy. What the hell move was that? Oh wow, yeah he's got his own like icon and everything. Alright, so he's you know, crazy as some of them, but uh, there's definitely some fun stuff in there. Let's see if there's anything else at the end. It does look like it's a little longer. Okay, come on, yeah, on sale. Yeah, Halloween, Lucky Japan, Lucky Japan. There anything else? Uh, ah, this is this thing. Yeah, collectors are probably not gonna get. Okay, all right, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so now I'm gonna check out the overall third trailer. See if the deal with that is. I'm gonna try my best to figure out what's going on. Okay, so that's the. So that still happens. Those characters still buy. Cause we don't know how much is going to change in Yeah, a lot of this is still the same. Assuming it's in this game, not from the original. Man, there's so many different like locations. I don't know if it's all one dungeon, or totally new dungeon, or new parts of old dungeons. That's what I'm really curious about. They look like new enemies. Hmm. Something's going on with Ketchy there, I don't know. What was all this? It definitely looks like a new area of the game. Oh yeah, Ketchy's in a lot more, and in that form, too. Hmm, Matrix Girl. I guess that's where he's her first. Wait, so... That's a cool looking spell. I don't know if it's older now. Some of the stuff I might not recognize. I maybe it's never gotten in the game, so don't mind me there. Okay, so probably nothing here. Probably the same thing the other one did. Nothing. No post credit scenes. Alright, so they were both they were both pretty neat trailers. I didn't I didn't really know what I was expecting with either of them, especially because, you know, the Joker one, like I said, we didn't really I didn't really expect him to get one. Uh, but they were all you know, they're definitely cool. Again, I apologize if there wasn't too much I could say to it just because of not knowing what they're exactly saying, because you know English translations for the subs. I really wish they'd have some more dub trailers. Like I I don't know is Persona really that much more popular in Japan? I figured it was pretty popular in both Parts of the world, I, I could be wrong. I mean, it's it's a Japanese game, so it's probably not proper in Japan. But um, no, I mean, I obviously one of the things I'm most interested in that you know, caught my eye. And again, I know I harp on it a lot, but 
Akechi is in a lot, especially in that other version of him. Um, I, I just, mm, I can't tell because it's like, it seems like he is, you know, always on their side. But then the one part where he has the gun up and then it, it looks like Kasumi is um, taken by those tentacles and all that. Um, it looks like, I, I don't know if he's doing that or maybe that was just cut weird or something. I don't know, maybe it's, it's really hard to say. Like, you know, I've never seen such English subtitles at least. God damn it. I wish this game wasn't so far off in America. It sucks so much. But no, it's not looking really good. Um, I also was thinking, because uh, I know, I think originally in when we saw Kasumi's trailer, there was some, some persona, some shadow persona, whatever, that is associated, that wasn't in the original Persona 5, that's very associated with, n I apologize if I'm not saying this right, n n Narlothep, um, one of the old Persona villains. And those things behind Kasumi kind of sort of gave me that vibe. And even the tentacles did too, because I think he's usually kind of black and tendril-like. I feel like I could be wrong. Um, they were kind of the things that caught my eye the most. I, you know, all the activities in Joker's trailer look, look pretty funny. I feel like there's a little more going on them. Again, I do wish they were more interactable and they weren't just cutscenes. Um, I think they're doing a little better with that, but not, you know, too much. But um, no, these are pretty cool trailers. Again, sorry if there's not much I can say to them for right now. Um, but a couple things, uh, for those that don't know, um, so we did get a English release window for Persona 5 Royal. It's spring of 2020, which kind of sucks. I thought maybe this time we'd actually get it in February, but that's definitely not going to happen. And a lot of people think that they might not release it till like May, because there's a lot of big releases like Final Fantasy, ooh, sorry, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and I think uh, Cyberpunk that come out around that time, which I mean, I'm personally hoping more for, I'm looking more forward towards p5 royal no offense to those games um so that does kind of suck and i don't want the game to do bad because of those but it's like oh it is looking really awesome i don't know how many more trailers we're gonna get before i guess the japanese release and you know if we get any more english trailers i'm not gonna probably not have any new information in them um and also for those that don't know there they did confirm that there will be more new information for persona 5 scramble on i think october 24th so it had been very quiet on that game so we'll finally see more on that I guess maybe they're waiting for Royal to come out in Japan first, so they don't kind of conflict with each other. I don't really see that. They're both two different variety of kind of games, and people are clearly more excited for Royal for the most part anyway. But, um, but you know, I'm definitely going to be covering that. I'm going to do a reaction video, a breakdown, something. Um, I, I do intend to cover that, because that was the first video I did talk about Persona, really. Um, I'm hoping to see... I mean, I'm, we they got to show more characters. they got to show more playable characters. I'm expecting, like, Ryuji Morgana on, at least... I would really like to see at least Yusuke and Makoto, and even better, Akechi. I don't know if they will. I mean, they really should, because it's been a pretty big silence for the game. Usually, these Dynasty Warriors games, we get a little more consistent info, while well, this has not been. Um, but we'll see what happens. So I just want to give you guys a heads up, you know, that that is happening, if you don't know. And I do intend to talk about it when that happens. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Like if you dislike Like if you like it. <laughs> like if you dislike it. Dislike if you dislike it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about these trailers. If there's anything you can maybe inform me that I wasn't kind of catching in these trailers, you know, maybe if you understood some of the things they were saying, or maybe things I just didn't, didn't kind of uh, notice. Um, and don't forget to check out my friend Mark Hune in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out Mr. Anderson Plays Games in the description below. I've, I've done a few more podcasts with him, mostly talking about Persona, or at the very least playing Persona. He's playing Persona 1. You know, I, you know, I watch him and, you know, we could talk about other stuff, um, so check that out, and as well as X Inkly as, as well, another person we, we do those videos with. Uh, whew, that's a mouthful. So thanks, thanks again, and as I was saying, to the time and to the place, keep being awesome.